What's up folks, welcome to a new video. As a Labour voter for pretty much every election apart from the most recent one, and I'm still curious about where they go from here. So I've been looking at the reaction from uh, potential candidates for the Labour leadership race, their reaction to the Iran-US crisis at the moment. We'll start off with a couple of outsiders. Uh, Clive Lewis is a 50 to 1 long shot, but this is what he had to say. This violent escalation in an already volatile region is a mistake and should not be compounded by UK government support. I call on the PM to condemn this cowboy action and turn immediately to our international institutions to try and de-escalate any war with Iran. I shed no tears for Soleimani, he was a cruel man who unleashed suffering for many, but violence begets violence, especially without a thought-out military strategy. I know this from my time in Afghanistan. The UK must now lead in being a broker for peace. I actually think that Clive has got one of the better responses of the Labour candidates here. He doesn't specifically name Trump, so he's not making it personal. He uses a very rational point in that it's already a very, very volatile region. His harshest words about the US is that it was a cowboy move, which is hardly the toughest of talk. And crucially, he also actually condemns the man that the US killed, something that we'll see that none of the others will do. This is the type of opposition to things that folks can appreciate. He's against it. He's not used emotion to vindicate his point, though. He's used a bit of logic and thought about the diplomatic ramifications of what he says with our undoubted closest ally, the USA. Next up, another outsider at 16 to 1. We've got Jess Bloody Phillips. Reckless foreign policy does not show strength. It's not a game. The consequences of the escalating tensions between the US and Iran are not to be underestimated. Not just once again on the civilians in the region, but on the whole world. Now... It's no secret that I'm not a Jess Phillips fan at all. She got her vocabulary from an episode of Shameless, despite the fact that she's as middle class as they come. But this is about as weak as it gets. It wasn't a reckless foreign policy Jess. It was a direct response to Soleimani organising the dangerous protests outside the US Embassy in Iraq. It was the last straw in a long line of grievances that they had about him. Jess makes no mention of anything Soleimani had done that might have encouraged the, the US to do this, but at least she isn't directly blaming Trump. Third favourite, Lisa Nandy next. This is a very dangerous moment, 17 years after the catastrophic decision to go to war in Iraq, violence still rages every day. World leaders must stand up to Trump, the last thing we need is another all-out war. Just terrible, that is absolutely terrible Lisa. Full of emotion thinks that our closest allies leader is some sort of terrorist, directly names Trump, making it clear that this is a personal thing and has absolutely no condemnation for the actual terrorist Soleimani. Needless scaremongering, there's no chance of an all-out war because of the ge geography of the two nations. The US is pretty much untouchable because of its location and its navy. This will just carry on through proxy factions, just with more intensity now. Second favourite in the run-in is Rebecca Wrong Daly. With this assassination, President Trump is pushing us to the brink of another disastrous war that would cost countless lives, further destabilise the region and make us all less safe. Our government should help de-escalate tensions and we must resist any rush to war. Straight away, she makes it personal by naming Trump. Clearly being thick as mince has made her geography shite as well, because as I said previously, all that war with Iran just isn't going to happen because of the geography of the two countries. And she doesn't condemn anything the actual terrorist Soleimani did to deserve this reaction from the US. It's a pretty bog standard Corbyn Easter response, to be honest. Now on to the odds on favourite, Keir Starmer. The government's response to Donald Trump's actions is not good enough. The UK government should hold him to account for his actions and stand up for international law, not tacitly condone the attack. Honestly, any London upper middle class woke liberal could have wrote this tweet. He instantly shows his true colours by directly blaming Trump. He then goes on to complain about international law with absolutely zero irony, despite Soleimani being responsible for numerous barbaric war crimes. It's a typically weak response from this Labour lot. It's like they've not realised that they've just had the worst results since 1935. Kudos to Clive Lewis though for not being totally insane as the rest. I despise this stance on Brexit, but at least there's a bit of sanity and a bit of rationality to his thinking. Maybe one or two of them are starting to learn, eh? We'll see. Anyway, that's it for this one, folks. Take care.